Hi everyone, Professor Christina Sober from Cal State Long Beach speaking here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to utilize Rossman Chance Applet to complete a simulation. You could type this website into your browser or you could search in your preferred search engine and get to the browser the same way. That's what I'm gonna show you to do. So I've typed in Rossman Chance Applets into my preferred search engine. First thing that popped up was Rossman Chance Applet Collection. We're going to click on that. We have many different options on here, but what we're going to be looking at is statistical inference, one proportion inference. So we'll click on that and go there. This is what that applet looks like. And what's great about this one is you can change the probability of heads to whatever you want. Uh, this can be adapted to whatever value that you want it to be. Let's just leave it at 0.5, which is the same as one over two, which is 50%. And this experiment we're going to be having the computer simulate five tosses and we're going to repeat that one time these boxes also can change how many times we complete that as well but let's just draw a sample here animate will just show the coins flipping and i'm going to draw one sample let's see what's changed so we have in the top here under above all the temps we got a tail followed by a head then a tail then a head then a head Below that, they record that we got three heads and two tails overall in that one repetition of this experiment, that one trial. This is what happened. To the left of that, underneath animate, we did this one time, just counting it for ourselves. And we got number of heads as our horizontal on this graph here. Three heads occurred once, which is why we have this little black dot above the number three. So that's what we had had happen. If I wanted to draw a sample again, it could animate for me. I could choose to have it not animate, but it's kind of fun. In this example, we got two heads and three tails. And so we have another dot, one above the two. If I wanted to run this 10 times, I've already done it twice, so I need to do it just eight more times. Then I'll draw samples. And it just shows the last attempt what happened. In that last attempt, we had one head and four tails. So this one dot above the one in the graph is what happened last. Now in the law of large numbers, we have to do this a lot more times. 10 trials isn't enough. Why don't we do it a total of 100 times? I've already done this 10 times. So I have to just repeat this 90 more times, draw my samples. And now we're getting a nice balanced, almost bell curve shape. It's a little bit skewed, uh, but it looks pretty nice. Um, if I wanted to figure out what could happen, I could say something as extreme as getting, I don't know, four heads when I flip five coins. How likely is that to happen? Based on this simulation, in red, we now have on the left side of the screen, proportional repetitions, 19 out of 100, 19 hundredths, which is the same as 19%. If I wanted to see the extreme as getting all five being heads, Probably not very likely. Well, let's see what this simulation has to say. I'm going to count that. And it happened 5% of the time. Now, what if I wanted to get as extreme as six heads or more? It's kind of a trick question. I'm flipping in the coin five times. And I'm asking to get as extreme as six heads or more in a time. Is that possible? No, because you can't get more than five in our total. So it should be impossible. We should get zero here, which is totally correct and accurate. 